What is identity and access management? Users, roles, access, those might be some of the terms that you've heard concerning identity and access management. You're a little close. Let's break it down. Identity, how you are represented online, sometimes through a social login, your work email address, or your personal email address, or even as an application. So you as an identity trying to gain access to the right resource at the right time securely is what identity access management strives to provide. Some of the challenges that identity and access management want to address are things like password management or alleviating identity silos or securing APIs or regulation compliance. When you take a single IAM provider, these are some of the capabilities that they try to provide across the board. Identity federation, meaning having an arrangement between domains so users can use a single identity across the system. A simple way to explain that is BYOID, bring in your identity. Sometimes you can use your Facebook login to log into multiple things. Single sign-on, you sign in only once, which is a part of identity federation. Then comes authentication, you being able to prove you as an authentic person when you're signing into something with your username and password. But if you try to include something like a security key or fingerprint, we call that multi-factor authentication, which is a part of strong authentication. Or sometimes based on your user profile or your attributes, we are able to implement adaptive authentication. There's also account management and provisioning that IAM systems provide. That means creating your profile, updating your preferences, setting up security questions as you like. There's access control based on your role or based on your attributes, what kind of access you have depend on the organization that you are. ID and access management systems also provide API and microservices security as well as something that's really important such as privacy compliance where general data protection regulation or California Consumer Privacy Act are complied with through consent management. No matter what kind of capabilities IAM providers provide you with, you have to ensure that it is something that you can extend based on the requirements that you have, which is called extensibility, or it is scalable, or it complies with privacy regulations, or it adheres to open standards like SAML or IDC. From the outset, ID and access management looks like it's simply about access, but it is not. If you look at the bigger picture, it's about ensuring that end users or employees have a great user experience. And this is balanced out with security. And that's what ID Access Management strives on a day-to-day -day basis.